Now let's look at the implementations because you mentioned there's a lot of duplication as well. You can see like the code is very similar in the services, right? Oh, they are the same, I guess. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same everywhere. Yeah. Well, it's not exactly the same. The actual map is different, right? Yes, they have their own helpers. Yeah. yeah. OK, so in these cases, you could create a generic service. For example, let me duplicate this. We can have a generic authentication service. And what changes is the mapping, right? Yes. In this case, update application service map. Mapper, what is the interface here? Map, data, response, and it returns updated of response. So what changes is this? Or throws, OK. We can define here like a mapper with that specific interface. It receives data, it responds, and it throws or returns or returns the response. But this response may vary per service. Then we create a generic response type here. Yeah, that makes sense. Then I'm gonna tell before what the response is, then it, when I'm having it back, then it knows from the beginning. But yes, exactly. And you can capture here. Now, it will call the mapper to do that logic for you. So when you have duplication in a service, like it's exactly the same. It's not exactly the same. There is a tiny thing that changes. You create a copy of that service, and everything that is the same you maintain. Everything that is different you inject. OK. Right? We also showed this in the live lectures. You see that in detail, like the step by step, how to get here. Here I'm just showing like very quick overview, but you will see much more detail there in the program. So we can create a generic service and the mapping will now be defined in there. So the result type here, where is this result type here? A result type is the authentication service result type, I believe. It just, yeah, it return a response or an, an error. OK, so let's define it here as the Swift result, type response or error, or generic. OK, what is wrong here? Secure response. OK, result. So what is this authentication response? Oh, it just return an email, the track from the response. OK, so we can extract this now into a mapper. I think that's it. Now, what is wrong here? It's like a self dot mapper. So it expects a response result, which is a response to generic service response. Swift or result response or error. Oh. That's why we don't need the protocol anymore. Okay, one less error. Now, what about this error? This also needs to be generic. Swift dot error. This goes to the mapping logic. And the mapper may fail, so we need to try. Mm -hmm. I 
right. So we need to try and do catch thing. Do catch, yeah. Bit with an error here. Something like that. And the completion here is dot success mapper. We need to try that. All right. <laughs> okay. There we go. So when you're creating a generic service here, then you can pass your mapper to the client. And you pass the mapper, which in this case can be this function. What is it? The did mapper dot map, for example. Right, and then then you have another response here, login response that uses the login authentication response mapper, and you inject the mapper. So you're reusing the same generic client, but injecting different mapping. When you have a lot of duplicated code in services, keep what's the same, and everything else you inject. What is different, you inject into the component. Thus, you can have generic implementations. Okay. So every different request, we have the only thing that changes is the response mapping. Thus, you inject the response mapping. Everything else stays the same. You learn this more in, in detail in yeah. the program. You make much more sense. And then you don't need the protocols. And then you see why you won't need the protocols. This is the solution. Yeah, I'm like I'm excited for it. <laughs>